Hi, long time no see. Love mucho tiempo que no nos vemos. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Why don't you drop by? Why don't you drop by? Uh, so that we can catch up. So we can catch up on old times, eh? You know, it's been a long time. Why don't you drop by? Okay. What have I done? I suggested he drop by. I suggested, sugerí, que pasara por mi casa. I suggested, sugge, suggest. La primera G de suggest es casi como una K suave. Sugg, y luego la segunda G de suggest es casi como una che. Suggest, suggest. I suggested, sugerí, que pasara por mi casa. I suggested he drop by to catch up. To catch up is alcanzar, cuando vas por detrás, cuando vas perdiendo en la carrera, tienes que catch up. Pero también es rememorar, o sea, los tiempos antiguos y ponernos al día un poco. I suggested he drop by to catch up. He suggested, he suggested I drop by sometime this week to catch up. He suggested I drop by sometime this week, sometime this week to catch up. He suggested, sugirió, sugirió. He suggested. Fijaos la pronunciación. Suggest, suggest, suggest. Pasado, sugirió. Suggested, suggested that. That opcional otra vez. Podemos comérnosla. He, he suggested, ¿es sugirió? Yes. He suggested we drop by, or he suggested I drop by, okay? Yeah, to catch up sometime this week. He suggested, yeah, me sugirió que pasar por su casa esta semana para ponerme al día con las cosas. Por lo visto, he quedado atrás. So he suggested I drop by. He suggested that. Claro, en español probablemente diríais me sugirió, pero en inglés no. No se dice nunca suggest me, suggest you. Simply suggest, igual que recommend. He suggested I drop by sometime this week to catch up, to suggest. Hi, well, uh, just had a meeting with Harriet. Yeah, and uh, well, she suggested that I make a few changes. Yeah, she suggested that I make a few minor changes. In fact, she suggested that I should wear better clothes. I think I look sexy. Yeah. But no, she suggested, she said, you should wear better clothes. So she, she suggested that I wear better clothes. Another thing, she suggested that I come earlier. Yeah, she says I get here late all the time. So she suggested that I come in earlier. Another thing, because I'm very forgetful. She suggested that I remember all my tasks. Yeah, that's right. She suggested that I. Eso es la estructura. She suggested that I do something. Right? Nunca decimos, she suggested me. No. She suggested that I wear nicer clothes. She suggested that I remember the things I must do. And she suggested that I come earlier, although I don't think that was a suggestion. Hello, I'm bending my arm to bend, doblar, to bend, to bend. Si lo bendeo demasiado, se rompe. To bend is doblar, pero doblar cosas duras, no doblar papel. Eso sería to fold, o doblar tela. Después de plancharla, sería to fold. Pero cosas más duras, como un brazo, o como un bolígrafo, o como una barra de hierro, es to bend. También, también el recodo de un río, un, el, a bend, the bend. Ok, I suggest you drop by sometime this week to catch up. To drop by. Sugiero que pases por mi casa. To drop by. ¿Por qué no pasas por mi casa y, nos, y tomamos una caña? Why don't you drop by? To drop by. To drop by. To drop in también nos vale. To drop by. Yes, Pepe, Pepe ayer... Se dejó caer por mi casa, o sea, pasó por mi casa, camino de la suya. Yesterday, Pepe dropped by. He dropped by to say hello and have a drink. Okay, to drop by. ¿Y por qué no pasas por mi casa de camino de la tuya para tomar una copa? Why don't you drop by? Can you drop by tomorrow? Listen, hey, Pepe, I'll drop by. 
In 20 minutes, can I drop by? To drop by. I suggested he drop by uh, sometime this week to catch up. Hey, how's it going? Guess who has a modeling audition? <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna be a male model. See, a customer was in here before and he recommended I drop by his modeling agency office. He says I'm perfect to be a male model. He says, just drop by sometime this week. I don't need an interview or a meeting. No, he just told me, drop by and they're going to love you. So, I just have to drop by sometime this week. Do you think I should drop by today? Yeah? Okay, so tell me, I think you should drop by the office today. Yeah? Okay, maybe I'll drop by the office today after work with my uniform on. You know? Or, well, maybe I could drop by at the weekend with my own clothes on. Yeah, I could drop by the office with some girls, you know, to look the part. Or, I could drop by in the morning before work. I look pretty good in the morning, eh? It's just, I don't know when he means. Drop by the office sometime this week. When should I drop by? <laughs> He suggested I drop by sometime this week. En algún momento de esta semana. He suggested, hoy es lunes, a ver si esta semana tengo tiempo para drop by. He suggested I drop by sometime this week to catch up. Entendemos aquí to catch up es que yo he quedado atrás en alguna cosa preparatoria y que tengo que ir a su casa y nos ponemos al día y ya me ya alcanzo el ritmo establecido porque me he quedado atrás. To fall behind, if you fall behind, you have to catch up. You have to catch up. Yes. So he suggested I drop by his house. He suggested I drop by. El drop by se entiende es pasar por su casa. Se entiende su casa. No hace falta decir his house. He suggested I drop by sometime this week to catch up. Yeah, to sit down. Manolo and me. To sit down and, and Manolo helps me to catch up. I need to catch up. I have fallen behind. So when I catch up, no? To catch up. All right, to catch up is uh, establecer el ritmo. Poneme al día en esto, okay? So he suggested I drop by sometime this week to catch up. Hi guys, Felicity here. One of my favorite activities is catching up with friends. Yes, catching up with friends. Y a ti, ¿te gusta ponerte al día con tus amigos? Do you enjoy catching up with friends? Oh, of course! Say it with me. I enjoy catching up with friends. Oh, perfect. One of my friends I haven't spoken to in such a long time and I want to catch up. I'm going to call her. Hi, Tiffany. It's Felicity. <laughs> Do you want to catch up today? Oh, oh, you're busy. Oh, okay. Do you want to catch up tomorrow? Let's catch up tomorrow. Oh, oh, you're sick. Oh, I know. I'll come to yours with some movies, some teddy bears. We can catch up. Oh, oh, it's, it's contagious. Oh, at the weekend, do you want to catch up at the weekend? No, how about next month? Oh, but I want to catch up now. Oh, okay. My friend says she's too sick to catch up. I know. I'll give her a surprise. 